cabinet ministers in the opposition. If you're not alien to his addresses, you surely know that uh, his addresses normally relate to his feelings, not the state of the nation. And to us, that's a huge constraint. Today, the opposition in the parliament are aware that the address today is a constitutional obligation of the president to address parliament as a way of opening a new session of parliament. After consultation with uh, all party whips in the opposition, we have elected to stay away from today's address by the president. And for two major reasons. One, to express our displeasure with him and his government in failing to address and offer tangible, practicable solutions to the conditions of the economy by evolving solutions that will help everyone out of this economic depression. The country awaited for his address three weeks ago, in which he said he has nothing to do and we are aware he's going to say the same thing. So we are not interested in dozing over that address. We have kept away as a sign of protesting his state of inertia in sitting down with his team to evolve a solution to the country in ameliorating and solving the challenges of escalating commodity prices like other governments elsewhere have done. We find his argument that there's nothing they can do unacceptable. 